So here we have a two-point perspective cube, um, just like what we've seen in the past two videos. And you can also create, um, you can turn this cube into a piece of furniture, you can turn it into a building, um, you can turn it into practically anything starting with your cube shape. So it's really having an understanding of like, what the front and what the side looks like. Now we're gonna turn this into a building um, so that you can see um, how to do that. And if I have this as my building, um, the first thing I wanna do is add a door. So um, I'm going to line up my ruler to this vertical point here, or vertical line. I'm gonna slide it over make sure my ruler stays perpendicular to that and I'm going to start by drawing a line um, the top of this line, this is the edge of my door I'm going to line that up to my vanishing point I'm going to draw a line over and then I'm and that line's lining up to the vanishing point and then I'm going to line up my ruler to my vertical line here again pull this back until I get to this line, make sure my ruler stays parallel to that. Bring this down. So there's my door. Now, if I want to make my door look open, then I can, from this corner here, line it up to my opposite vanishing point. And I'm gonna draw a line going in to kind of show like that, like it's a hallway. But, I can extend that line out a little bit, and from the top corner, I'm going to line up to the vanishing point so that I can draw a line extending out a bit. Make sure my ruler is parallel to this line and I can draw my line down and erase this little bit here and there I have like a door open to um, a little like hallway here um, I can draw a bunch of windows or signs so it starts by drawing some lines straight up and down that line, the top and bottom, gets drawn to my vanishing point. Now remember, as things are closer, this it gets wider and bigger. As we get closer to the side, things get a little bit smaller. So I'm going to make the spacing between here smaller than the spacing between here. And from this point, I can draw in some lines I'm just gonna estimate it they should get a little bit closer together each time to become windows um, I can draw a window on this side I can draw a garage I can draw a big sign let's say I want a big window so I'm gonna draw my line here and I'm going to draw to this vanishing point here. So the tops and bottoms always go to a vanishing point. They can't go just anywhere. Notice I'm not just drawing my lines wherever I want. They have to go to a vanishing point. So um, all these lines here are going to that vanishing point. All these lines here are going to this vanishing point. So. Um, it has to angle, it can't go straight across. The only line that's going straight across is this horizon line because it's a direct line between the two vanishing points. Now, when you're drawing a street scene, you're not gonna see one building and usually there's a sidewalk, so I'm gonna actually seal up this dashed line. So this dashed line here, I'm gonna make it nice and solid. I'm gonna make this dashed line really solid.
if I want to add another building, so I'm going to add a building on this side. If I want a building the same height as this building, I need to keep this line because this this line lines up with this line here. So this anything I draw touching this line is going to be the same height as that building. So I'm going to line up my ruler here so I have that vertical line. I'm going to pull it back maybe about there. And I'm going to draw my vertical line. Um, so this is going to be the new corner. So this is the corner of my building. This is going to be the new corner of my new building. Um, the top and bottom of this line, I'm going to draw to the opposite vanishing point. But I'm not going to draw a dashed line all the way across. I'm just going to stop at the side of the building. And don't forget the bottom one because all beginning students tend to forget this bottom line. And this bottom line is so important because it's going to make it appear that we have a little alleyway between the buildings. It's amazing what one tiny little line can change. So that little line is so important. So this is the side of my building. And I'm going to line up my ruler to this vertical line again. I'm going to pull it back. I'm not going to make it too wide. Close this up. And then here's my other building for me to add doors and windows to. Now, um, as we get closer to this vanishing point, I, I wouldn't add anything here because technically everything should be getting so small that it disappears the closer we get to the vanishing point. And in reality, when we look at buildings, the vanishing point would actually be like, mm, like way outside of the bounds of our camera. So um, what we're drawing is not going to be 100% realistic to what we actually see. And I'll demonstrate that in another video. Now, this building is the same height as this building, right? Because they were all, this is all on the same line going to that vanishing point. Now, if I want a building taller, then I want to go above this line. I'm going to pull this over just a little bit. I'm going to draw this corner line and I'm going to go just a little bit above that line. I don't want to go too far above. It, it gets a little ridiculous um, and not too realistic. So I don't want to go too far above. So this is the new corner of my building. I'm going to line up to my opposite vanishing point. And I'm going to draw just until I dead end into that building. And then I'm going to do the same for the bottom. Again, remember, don't forget that bottom line because this is going to give us our little alleyway. Line up my ruler here. Pull this over. I'm bring this up a bit. I forgot to do my line here, so I'm not going all the way up. So lining up my vanishing point to this corner here. Ah, oh, that just worked out nicely. There's my next building. If I want a building shorter, then I just make sure I don't touch this line. I just bring it up a little bit shorter. So a building shorter, I just bring it up to a certain point. Um, not touching that line and then I have to draw my lines to my vanishing point on the one side and then I need this the top to go to this vanishing point bring that line down so then there's like my building that's shorter than this center building. Um, and I'm not gonna put doors or windows on these because um, it's the same thing as this. Like anything I draw on this side or this side will go to this vanishing point. Anything I draw on this side or this side goes to this vanishing point here. Now for a sidewalk, I'm gonna say my sidewalk ends about here.
I'm going to draw a solid line to both vanishing points. And the common thing beginning students want to do is just draw lines straight up and down this to create the cracks in a sidewalk. But really what that ends up making it look like, it makes it look like a fence that's falling over. So you want to avoid doing that. Remember, your lines have to go to a vanishing point. I can't just draw lines wherever I want in order for this to make sense. So um, if I want to draw lines, uh, the crack lines of the sidewalk, I on this side, I need to line up my ruler to this vanishing point. So I'm going to line up my ruler here. And what I like to do is start with this first line here. So I like to line it back up to this first line because it helps me get started. And I'm just going to make this line go all the way out. So just like that. Now I'm going to keep my ruler touching this vanishing point and I'm going to bring my ruler up a little bit. And I'm going to draw another line, keeping my ruler at the vanishing point to the left. Bring this up a little bit more. And I want to make sure the spacing between my lines starts to get a little bit closer together. And I'm always keeping my ruler touching this vanishing point. Oops. So keeping my ruler touching that vanishing point. So again, always touching that vanishing point. I mean, my lines should get closer and closer together here. Um, and then that's going to make it look like the lines of a sidewalk. Now for this side, I have to go to this vanishing point. So I do the same thing. I line it up to this first line here. And I draw my line across. And same thing, I'm going to keep my ruler lined up to that vanishing point. And I'm going to bring my ruler up a little bit. Again, keeping it to that vanishing point, draw my line across. Keep my ruler at that vanishing point. Bring my line up a little, my ruler up a little bit so I can draw my line. Oops. So you kind of get the idea. I can draw the side of a sidewalk, so if I bring this line straight down, it's so small that I'm not going to use a ruler, but it's always good to use a ruler. So when you're drawing two-point perspective, it's always, it just looks cleaner when you use a ruler, so always use your ruler. Um, I'm going to draw from the bottom of that line to both sides of my vanishing point, and there it looks like I have a step up. Right, like here's the edge of my my sidewalk. Here's the actual sidewalk, um, and those are just kind of the basics for drawing a street scene.